Did you know you can make a photo slideshow in LumaFusion in just five easy steps? Creating slideshows to share with friends and family is one of my favorite things to do. In this video, I'm gonna show you my LumaFusion workflow for creating a unique, personalized, cinematic slideshow in just five easy steps. Step one, select and import your music. Want to use your favorite copyrighted song? If you're just showing the slideshow privately directly from your device at an event with friends and family, go for it. Sharing online? To avoid copyright issues, stick to royalty-free music. There are many royalty-free libraries to choose from. If you want to work within the app, subscribe to Storyblocks for LumaFusion, which gives you millions of safe-to-use tracks. Use Storyblocks genre, mood, and instrument filters, plus search, in order to find the perfect music for your project. Drag your music clip or clips down to the first audio track of the timeline. Step two. Organize your slideshow assets. If your photos are mixed up in your photos or gallery app, create a slideshow album so you can find your images more easily. You can organize your photos with color tags. I like to use green for images I definitely want to use and yellow for the maybes. Step three, place your images on the timeline. Before dragging photos to the timeline, be sure to adjust your default photo duration and help in settings preferences so every photo starts out the same length. Use multi-select to choose your photos in the order you want, then drag them onto the main track. Watch your slideshow through and tweak any photo durations by extending or trimming them to match the rhythm of your music. Use the waveforms to help you see the beat. Use the frame and fit editor to crop and size photos. If you are working with a mix of landscape and portrait images, use fit mode to be sure the entire photo is displayed. Change the background color of your timeline and help in settings if you want your photos against a color other than black. Step four, add transitions and motion. Before adding transitions, adjust your default transition duration and help in settings so each transition is the same length. I like them about 8 to 10 frames long. While you are in help in settings, go to preferences and turn off ripple main track for transition insert. This will ensure that your clips will stay in sync with the music. To apply a transition to a number of clips at once, multi-select the clips and double tap the transition of your choice. It will be applied between all your selected clips. Fine tune a transition length, just like a clip, tap and adjust. And finally, motion. You will maybe wanna add moves to some of your images. Here are two ways to do this. Open an image in the Frame and Fit editor and try one of these motion presets or you can keyframe moves manually. Be sure your keyframes are at the start and end of each transition so that your move is included in the transition. Step five, export and share the love. When everything looks just right, choose from the export menu the best location for you to share your work with your loved ones. And that's it. You've just turned a folder of memories into something meaningful and shareable. A wee warning, it is likely your audience will be asking for more slideshows in the future. It's fun and easy to create a slideshow in LumaFusion. Now you know. Happy editing.